If there's one thing that I hate in this world, it's bees. Now, imagine your biggest fear. Spiders, moths, belly buttons, whatever the heck it is. Imagine that being put, j just a bunch of them. Like a bunch of belly buttons, a bunch of spiders, a bunch of moths being put in, in a room with you. It's horrifying. Your biggest fear. It's like me with heights, me with bees, you know? So, one day, walking home from the bus, right? I proceed to walk. Just walk, you know, walking. That's not what you do when you walk, but you know, you're like that. You start walking, right? Walking home from the bus. If you didn't know, I take the bus, which you probably don't. Unless you watched the first video of Story Saturday. So I was walking home from the bus. It was about fifth grade. Fifth grade, um, that was well, like two years ago. And I saw a bee because I live in California and it is just bees all over in here. It's like 104 degrees outside. I tell you, there's bees everywhere. And I, I start walking. I see this bee. My shoe's untied. So I start sprinting. I start sprinting. There's just one little bee. So I start, proceed to sprint. Sprint at full speed. I proceeded to sprint at a very high velocity. And I trip on my shoelaces. I go flying like Superman. I literally, here, let me give you an example. You see my bed over there? I probably flew from the end of that bed all the way to like over there okay so I went flying and hang on let me fix this now and I landed right on my hands okay if my face broke my fall that would have been better because you know it's just my face it's already amazing it'll just heal itself it has magic you know and I went like imagine Superman just like flying through there or like or like um you know, like, uh, Kung Fu Panda, like, uh, the movie, where he just goes, like, skadoosh, and, like, the person goes flying, and then I landed right on my hand, and then my left hand was, like, <laughs> and, like, it just broke, it broke, and now, imagine this, this is what my left hand looked, what my left arm looks like, so, oh, this is my, alright, what, this is my left, alright, so, Take my wrist, you see it, how it's kind of like, how it's kind of like curvy. And then like, add another wrist to the middle. That was my bone, that wrist right there. That was my bone sticking out of my arm. And it was probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me. The most painful experience that I've gone through. It was absolutely horrible. Man, if that, breaking, breaking something. If you think about breaking something, you think, ouch. And then when you actually break something, you're like, ouch! And then when you take it into perspective, breaking something hurts that bad. Then what would it feel like when you die, right? I mean, there's some ways that are less painful to die. Like I know drowning is an easy way to die because you just faint. And then if you keep drowning, then it's just kind of over. You, you don't know because you're like fainted and stuff. And that's an easy way to die. I mean, it might not be, but you know, so... What would it feel like to die? I don't know. Because falling, breaking your arm feels so bad. Like, such an excruciating pain. What? It was just, it just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. And another time, I was about one. Now, I remember this faintly. But my mama has always told me the story about it. So... I had this ball pit thing, sitting in the ball pit with my mama, all of a sudden, we hear a sound like a truck going by, just like, you know, something like that, and out of nowhere, you just look around, there's this black cloud flying at us, and that black cloud is bees, God, now, I have a million bee stories, because I hate bees, and that's just my life. They just love me. They just adore me, the bees. So, I used to live in this house, very old house, built in almost the 1800s, like 1890, early 90s, 1910, something like that. And it was the worst house ever, honestly. The worst house I've ever been in. 
and uh, the basis of the stuff that would happen, like, someone lived upstairs, so, like, the house was split into three parts. The upstairs, where someone else lived, a half of the downstairs, where me and my mom lived, and the other half, where our neighbors lived. And stuff that happened, like, someone lived upstairs, they were washing their clothes in the sink. And then we turned on the tub, like, brown stuff started splurging out of the tub. It was just like, then, like, it was like a, f- a bloody diarrhea coming out of the freaking tub. And that's not the point, though. That's not even any part of my story. But th- what I'm saying is that there's a lot of weird stuff that happens there. Like, we have spiders and stuff like that. But one day, it happens during the summer all the time. Every single summer this happened. I was in there for, like, two years. This happened every summer. All two summers. The bees make a hive in my fireplace and fly down through the chimney and go all over my living room okay i'm just like all right so i walked home no i didn't walk home that was a long time ago i was like seven but i was home and i wanted to go watch some tv which was basically where my front door was and we came in through the back door because that's where we parked it yeah whatever and um we walked in there and I get n- next to the door. All I hear is just flapping around everywhere. I open the door. And I scream. Because there are at least 30, 50 bees in my living room. And like, I swear. My brother, my little brother, he makes friends with bees. He's such a weirdo. He's like f- three. Yeah, three. A bee would land on his hand and he'd be like, Hi, little bee. There's flowers over there. And I'm what? how do you do that? I don't know. I hate bees. I hate bees. I despise bees. I don't like bees at all. But, um, let me think. I think that's all. Honestly. But bees, they're just the worst thing ever. Bees and heights. Oh, heights. Don't even get me started with heights. I actually, I almost fell into like a ravine once. But, you know, that's another story. But, yeah, honestly... Um, if you're ever in my situation where you're running from a bee with your shoelaces untied, number one, always tie your shoes, and number two, it hurts more to break your arm than to have a bee stinging you. So, just just keep that in mind, alright? So, yeah. Um, mmm, whatever. So, see you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and for more. Awesome, amazing gaming content. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm Purple Fire Gaming signing out. See you guys all.